My sister taught me to juggle when I was about eight years old. It took me a whole summer holiday, but I got there. I also taught myself how to use a camera, lighting, cinematography. I also learnt this pen trick when I saw a guy do it in class. You learn a lot of things in life, and today, I'm going to learn something new. So recently I've been doing a lot less photography and film work due to the current situation, which we won't go into right now. Covid. But I've been doing a lot more 3D animation work. Now I've dabbled a little bit with physics simulations in the past, but never fluid simulations. So I wanted to give it a go and start off with something simple like dropping an Oreo in some milk. Sounds simple, right? See, I love trying new things and I got inspired by seeing these super slow-mo clips online of product and food photography and I really wanted to give it a shot. But as I always do, instead of just filming it, I wanted to make it even more difficult and do it using a 3D simulation. You see, my theory was that instead of hiring a camera that can shoot at like a thousand frames a second that would cost me god knows how much, I could make a simulation of the whole thing and play it back at whatever speed that I wanted. I would have complete control. Now I've given myself three days, let's give it a shot. You see, I feel it's really important for me right now uh, to basically keep learning new skills. And that's purely to stay relevant. If I can up my game in the 3D animation space, it opens up a whole other aspect of what I can do for customers. Even though we can't shoot anything face to face, I can still produce content for them. It opens up my client base from just Scotland to the whole of the world. And it's also good to have a backup plan for, you know, when these crazy pandemics roll around, you know. Oh, by the way, the software I use for all my 3D work is called Blender which is a fantastic open source 3D creation software. Um, you can literally do anything on it if you have the knowledge and the skills, of course. But what's even better about it is that it's 100% free. So if you fancy getting into it, it's free to download and there's loads of tutorials out there and forums you can basically teach yourself from scratch. Seriously, can't recommend it enough. So I've been at this for the best part of a day now. Um, I'm at the fun stage where every time I try and run the simulation, my computer wants to crash. So that's fun. Turns out fluid simulations are quite taxing on the old CPU. Um, but I am getting there. I managed to do a proof of concept, which was pretty cool. Worked really well. Um, but my main simulation still needs a lot of work. It's a very trial and error at this point to actually see if I can get it to work. But I'm feeling confident. It's getting there. Here's hope it gets there. <laughs> we start on the computer again. Right, that's it. Time is up. Um, I had it rendering through the night last night. Seems to have come out okay. Uh, but yeah, here's the final result. So I'm still not 100% happy with it. Um, I had a few niggles with frame rates, but figuring out how to render at the higher frame rate allowed me to speed ramp it in Premiere, which gave it a little bit more of an impact as it hits the milk. Um, also, my milk looks very yogurty right now, but for a three-day first attempt, half of which was rendering the bloody thing, I think it's pretty good. Okay, so what have I learned from all this? Well, first of all is that fluid simulations are crazy time consuming and need crazy processing power to get any form of decent result. But more importantly, I've developed a basic skill set in doing this kind of thing, which with a little bit more work, I feel I can confidently offer this to my clients. And by the way, see when they say something is super simple, it very rarely is. So yeah, I think that learning something new is never a bad thing. Depending on what it is, it can allow you to grow your skills, spark new ideas, prepare you for the unexpected, even just give you a little sense of accomplishment and make you a more confident person. Anyway, keep learning. It is true when they say every day is a school day. Cheers guys. Oh, and subscribe too. That will do.